You're watching Blood Politics with Boston Brian. Blood's fucking gone. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another edition. Blood Politics, Boston Brian. That's me, I'm Boston Brian. I'm a few of them, people sunning me. Still a Boston, sorry. Um, just want to wish everybody from no one other night family who wants a very happy Easter. Um, to those who celebrate, to other people who will love me, can't stop anyone with their family, with their loved ones, doing the, the stuff they enjoy. I appreciate you joining me here today. Um, and we're just probably busy, and we have a lot of stuff we could be doing. So, thank you very much for joining me here today. And uh, what to get to, a lot that we're not going to get to. Uh, because it's Easter, unfortunately, do have a hard out uh, for me to work. So, there will be no going over today. I was just saying on that, unfortunately. Yeah, but about to get to how's everybody doing? How I'm doing? Say, uh, happy Easter, latest one, happy Easter. Nate, happy Easter, Jason, Sean, Harry, Sniffles, and the Jews, and uh, thank you for your services as well as Muriel, Christopher, Hickst, Fan in the House, Gino, what's going on, Jim, Bob, Kef, Michaela. How are we doing? Thank you much for life. It's what? You know what? How about this? Let me take this out. Uh, okay. I don't know. I was not about it. I don't know. It should be good. It was not with the chair. Already. Not already. Well, how was it? Let me know. Already know. Let me know. I sound sick. That's not good. Get calls. Hold on. Jeff is good. Yes. I don't know what that means. Hold on. 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 I think I think going on. I think going on. I think going on. I got to see you. Let's see you. I don't know. That's good. That was the top of it. I don't want to stop it. Let's see. I'm going to log it and I will do it. Does that sound any better? Does that sound any better? Please tell, tell me, tell, tell me that sounds better. Anybody, give me something. Please give me something. All right, good, good, good. You know what? <laughs> oh man! All right, so right hand, right hand up. It's probably a good day to. To come clean, uh, Easter, because Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Anyway, uh, I just want to say happy Easter to everybody, especially uh, the former president. <laughs> I think that's the reason why I sounded like a chipmunk, uh, because I've been trying to work out my... <laughs> my uh, my stream deck, and uh, I guess I put a little sound thing on, is what happened there. What the, I can't wait to hear that one back. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that one back. Which means that I can plug this back in, because it had absolutely nothing to do with this. So, anyway. How's everybody doing? Now that we got that out of the way. Now that we got that out of the way. All right. A lot to get to. First off, where's Donald Trump? Can anybody, does anybody know where Donald Trump is? Has anybody seen Donald Trump? Because I know we got a, a pretty big election coming up. And for him not to have rallies, I mean, what is this, the third or fourth weekend in a row he hasn't had a rally? Golfing. <laughs> yeah, he's golfing. But, but I'm serious. I mean, is this, is this the signs of his uh, campaign showing money troubles, little financial issues? 
Is that the reason he's been having all of these smaller events and none of these big rallies that, uh, unless it's put on by uh, another organization? Because it's really strange to me that this, that he would go this many weekends in a row without doing some sort of an appearance, some sort of get together. And I don't think he has one for like another week or two, if I'm not mistaken. I think the next one's maybe Georgia. I could be wrong on that one. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but, you know, he could also be doing, you know, that he could be doing that too, where, where all the classified documents were in the bathroom. But what are you going to do? Let me know if you heard that, because I would really like to know if you could hear the drops. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Get back on Twitch. I'm not a fan of YouTube. What's the matter with YouTube, Pauline? Hi, Kyle. What's going on, buddy? How's he doing? Nope to drop. Awesome. How is that even fucking possible? Worked yesterday. You couldn't hear that? I'm going to be so fucking mad if I went through all that fucking trouble. How could you hear... All right, maybe I have to do it this way. What about this? All I know about magnets is this. Give me a glass of water. Let me drop it on the magnets. That's the end of the magnets. Obama. What about that? Could you hear that at least? For Christ's sakes, I spent hours doing this shit. So you could hear that, but why couldn't you hear it on my stream deck? <laughs> God damn. So that was all a waste of time. I literally uploaded, I must have uploaded fucking 40 drops to this motherfucker. And not one of them you can hear. I don't know. What are you going to do? Let's get right into it. I want to check out what Donald Trump's been saying. So, first off, let's do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Let's check it out. Let's see if this works at least on my stream deck, for Christ's sakes. Nope, that didn't even work. Nothing on the works. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh yeah, it will. Yes, let's go. Let's go. All right, let me know that you can see it. Let me know that you can see it. I'm just curious what this guy's been saying because he hasn't been around. He hasn't been around. Let's see here. Four hours ago, happy Easter. Also, at the same time, never forget our cowards and weaklings. Such a disgrace. <laughs> what? Uh, that goes hand in hand with Happy Easter. Hey, Happy Easter, you fucking cowards and weaklings, because you're a disgrace. But Happy Easter. <laughs> the guy's a fucking nut job. Two hours ago, today, Stans has written an absolutely terrific must-read book on saving our country from the radical leftists. Twilight's last gleaming, Can America Be Saved? Is about returning to the values of the American made our nation great. Todd's book. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Which one's this? Mike Rogers endorsement. Uh, what's this? Uh, Maxine Waters run scared at the Capitol, so he's talking shit. Talking shit about... This is hilarious. This is hilarious. They're trying to get John Stewart. They're trying to make it seem like John, <laughs> John Stewart did the same thing that Donald Trump did because his apartment or condo sold for... Uh, you know, a shitload more than he bought it for, which is not the same as inflating the the price of it yourself in order to get you know shady loans and and, <laughs> and tax breaks. Literally not the same thing. Uh, let me see if I can do this, or at least you can see me. How's everybody doing? All right, let me keep going here. It doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't. Fake polls. Fake polls. Fake polls. Him endorsing somebody else, Wendy Rogers. What's this? Judge Engeron, as a fact finder, entirely impeached his credibility, so much so that he should be removed from the case pronto, and there should be a mistrial given his egregious appraisal of Mar a Lago being worth only $18 million. It wasn't his appraisal. The judge did not appraise Mar a Lago at $18 million. <laughs> It wasn't his call. That was already done by Donald Trump and another company in uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, because they wanted the tax breaks, and I believe it was 18 to 26 million was the actual uh, valuation. Because he wanted tax breaks, because he wanted it to be a business, and because he wanted to make money on the property, 
that's the fucking that's the end result of what he did. Uh, public listings show that in Moynton Palm Beach, 18 million can get you a four bedroom home in the range of 6,000 square feet. This, that calculates approximately $3,000 per square foot. Mar Lago, which is 62,500 square feet, would simply, on the basis of square footage, be worth $187 million. Uh, that doesn't even account for the 17 acres of property of which it sits private ballroom, tennis courts, private pools, spa, waterfront view, and great historic significance as the winter White House. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. The Winter White House. I get a kick out of that every time he says it. It's fucking old. It's gaudy. It's it literally looks like he came out of the movie Scarface somehow and needs to be redone, but nobody wants to touch it because, he, you know, everybody knows Donald loves the fucking fake gold trim. Uh, all fact is that would uh, add a uh, add hundreds of millions of dollars to the value. OK, so let's say 200. Let's say 200 million dollars for the 17 acres of property, the private ballroom, the tennis courts, private pool, spa, waterfront. OK, so that's what? Three hundred and eighty seven million. That doesn't sound like. That doesn't sound like uh, one point two billion dollars to me. Does that does that up? Am I doing the math wrong? Am I I must be mathing that wrong. Am I doing the math on that wrong? I'm I'm probably doing the math on that wrong because somehow that must add up to one point two billion dollars. Carry the one, seven. Two is a three. Seven is a nine. To round that up. The two zero is bigger, better borrow. Uh, no, yes, nope, not one point two. But you know. Donald Trump math might be different than mine. So he's lying on that one. Just doesn't seem like he's doing much here, you know? Like, no, no, no rallies, no, no, not much shit talking, just kind of posting fake polls. That's about it, huh? What else? He, oh, what's this one? What's this one? This is a disgrace to our legal system. Judge Marchand should be immediately sanctioned and recused of this fake case, quote unquote, only kept alive by the highly conflicted judge, should be completely dismissed right away. There is no case. There is no crime. Andy McCarthy, Jonathan Turley, and our legal experts of scholar and scholars universally agree that this is a case that should have been never brought. It is the political election interfering witch hunt, just like all of the other hoaxes headed up and coordinated by the DOJ against a political opponent of crooked Joe Biden in order to get help in the worst state, the worst president in the history of the United States reelected. <laughs> That's normal. Sounds like a normal. <laughs> Sounds like a guy that's just not having issues whatsoever, huh? I wish I could see Donald Trump toss and turn in his bed every single night. I really could. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I could see him uh, just squirm in sweat like he says he does. Oh, it'd be so good. It would be so good. Yeah, let's see if this works now. Anything work? Well, at least that one worked. At least that one worked. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It, I mean, is it is it not strange that should we not take it as a, as a, as a sign that maybe things aren't going as well for him uh, as he might like to put out? Where is he? Where are you, Donald? Where are you? Where are you? Come on, come on. When you, <laughs> we thought we were looking for Melania. Now we're looking for Donald. What? <laughs> it is his new math. It's got to be Carol. It's got to be the new math. I don't know. It's, it's got to be something like that because none of it makes sense to me. But I guess when a guy talks like this. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. You have a nasty mouth. You know that? All I know about magnets is this. Give me a glass of water. Let me drop it on the magnets. That's the end of the magnets. <laughs> I mean, who knows what math actually adds up to in a, in a brain like that. You just never really can tell what the hell is going on in that brain. All right, moving on. Moving on. Let's talk about, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Here we go. <laughs> You're going to like this one. This is a good Easter edition without... Without any Trump rallies to look at, this is this is gonna this is gonna go nicely. This is gonna go nicely. All right, so Tucker Carlson, because he's doing so well uh, post Fox News, um, and just is killing it uh, because he wants everybody to believe that uh, impressions on Twitter actually mean something, uh, or are actually real, or calculated in a way that can be correlated and somehow compared to his Fox News uh, viewers. But anyway, 
Uh, he sat down with one of the more important figures in today's pol uh, political uh, atmosphere, uh, and her name is Roseanne Barr. <laughs> you may have heard of her. So, what do you say? What do you say we get in to their conversation? This has probably happened to you every couple months or so. You look up from what you're doing, otherwise occupied, feeding the dog or paying your power bill, and you look up, and they'll be trying once again to make Roseanne Barr be quiet. Right out the bat. Oh, is that what everybody's thinking about? Am I like, am I living on another universe? Is that what everybody's thinking about while they're scooping up the dog shit or you know feeding the cat? Like, why? An just another yet another example of of they trying to <laughs> trying to cancel Roseanne Barr. I'm just I'm constantly thinking that something that I think about quite often. Shut up, Roseanne Barr! You're a Nazi. You're crazy. You said it, not me. It's not working. Roseanne Barr has been in the public eye for almost 40 years, and amazingly, she's more influential than ever. So we thought we would check in with her. And More influential than ever. Uh, uh, bullshit. See how she's doing. Roseanne Barr, how are you? I'm great. Look at her. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, she hasn't even said a word yet, and she's already looking like she's, uh, uh, how do I say this nicely? Maybe casually under the influence of some medication, perhaps. Tucker, how are you? You're obviously unbowed. <laughs> I can't remember where I was the other day, and someone was like, Roseanne Barr's a Nazi. She's an anti-Semite. I'm thinking. You can't remember where you were. When somebody ran up to you and said, Roseanne Barr is a Nazi and an anti-Semite. I think I would remember that. I think that would be something memorable in the day. Um, because previous to that, not many people were running up to me and saying, you know, <laughs> Roseanne Barr is a Nazi and anti-Semite. Not something that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. But I can see how you could forget where you were. You can probably criticize her. Probably not a Nazi or an anti-Semite. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> so, so they canceled, famously, they canceled the resurgence of your show, the mm -hmm. relaunch of your show. Just like you, when it was number one. Hey. Just like you, Taka. Taka, just like you. The similarities are striking, uh, if you think about it, Taka. And I'm so mad about this. How does that not? I can hear it. Why can't you hear it? Fucking assholes. Thing told me it would work. It just doesn't work. Just doesn't work. I mean, I don't understand it. We'll figure it out. I mean, my voice, it changed my voice. Or you can hear it on Twitch. Hmm. Ain't that some shit? Can you turn up their volume, please? I sure can. I sure can, sir. All right. And let me know if that's any better. How come they, why did they, how, don't their shareholders wonder why they would do that? I don't know how that's spooky finance. And that's really strange. Um, oh, turn up the volume on the drops. I know what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Some of them are louder than others. I'm playing the drops for the people on Twitch that can actually hear them because I spent so long doing it. Sorry for the people on YouTube that aren't hearing anything. I know, I know people on YouTube, you can't hear it. Or you can hear it on YouTube. I'm so confused. I don't know. We'll fucking find out. If you can hear it, if you can hear the drops that I'm playing right now, give me a thumbs up. If you can't, give me a thumbs down. We'll try to figure out what the uh, correlation is between why people aren't hearing it. We don't have a crazy trailer. I can hear it on Twitch. No drops on YouTube. Okay. Thank you, Left Handed Jedi. Uh, I can't hear anything from the time when these fools. It says you're all good. Nope. What's with her hair? 
That's a good question. Okay, thumbs up on YouTube. Thumbs down on YouTube. <laughs> Weird. Now, Locata can't hear it on Twitch, but somebody else can hear it on Twitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Give me something to work with, people. For crying out loud. I need something. I can see you, Tom. I don't know what that means. I'm not Tom. Anyway, all right, back to this, because that's just going to fucking piss me off. I don't know how the hell some people can hear it on the same platform and others can't. Maybe if, does it depend if you're watching from like a phone or a or a PC, maybe? Maybe that. Like, you, uh, are, if, are the people not hearing it on a phone or are the people not hearing it on a, uh, uh, a PC? Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, if it's all good, then I, I appreciate you saying so. I'd like to get it figured out for the people that isn't, but we'll get there. We'll get there. No worries. No worries. We'll figure it out. I've only had it up and running for about seven minutes. Stuff. Play a drop. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got some questions. I will say that. But I'll play. It should say, should say something about magnets if you hear it. <laughs> Dude, they make me laugh every time. Even when I was putting them in there. Every single one of them made me laugh. Now, did you hear that one? I'm on desktop. I hear it. Thumbs down from Doc. Thumbs down from Nope. Nope. No. No. Kathy says, yep. Yeah. Robert says, yes. Ah. Now, it's fine on Twitch. And I'm listening to the StreamYard feed, and I cannot hear it. Okay. All right. Fuck it. I'm done with it. I give a fuck. Did you figure out, like I did, that it's really personal? Oh, it, oh it's always personal. Yeah. The thing about television is everything's personal yes, on TV. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's about I don't even care. I'm frustrated by it already. Fuck them. About you. Yeah. So that's great when everyone's <laughs> like, oh, you're Jesus. But it's not so good when they're like, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> I don't take any of it personally, thank uh -huh. heaven. But you get fired in this very, very public way, become the center of the national debate over Trump, but you don't go away. And then all of a sudden look up and you're everywhere. How did that? She's not everywhere. She's not everywhere. She's been invited to a few ridiculously crazy right wing conventions, which seems to get her then on crazier right wing podcasts such as yourself. So she has not been everywhere. Did that <laughs> happen? Uh, I don't know how it happened. I really don't. <laughs> she is on fucking cloud nine. She is talk about not knowing where you are. You know what I mean? Like that bullshit they try to pull with Biden. He doesn't even know he's alive. Oh my God. Does he know he's walking? Is he walking? Does he walk? Can he do it? Is he alive? I don't know if he's alive. Does he know he's alive? I mean, come on with the bullshit. This is more to along the lines of what you <laughs> what they're talking about right here. Did you expect <laughs> to be doing this at this stage of your life? No, I. Uh... I know. I thought I'd be an alcoholic with a cocaine addiction. Yeah, uh, uh, if you really want to know, but. Uh, uh, somehow I kicked that habit uh, back in the day when I kicked back my uh, my ex husband. He seemed to get all the addictions. I got none. No. Well, I guess when I was really little, I, I saw myself doing something. That Ambitious, to say, to say the least. I saw myself doing something. I don't know what the fuck it was. Could have been anything. That's, I did. I, I did see myself doing something. It was something that was gonna be have good consequences to it. And uh, so, anyways, this week I was like, "Hey, this is like when you were little, and now you're doing it." It was. Oh my god! Come on! Come on! What? The fuck? Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Sorry. Uh, today of all days. Sorry. Today of all days. Today of all days. I shouldn't say it. But I mean, 
this is really what Republicans should be focusing on. Like people like this in their group that are truly lost. I mean, with in, in, in the nicest way possible, truly, truly just lost in the shuffle of reality. Uh, somehow have have fallen down a, a rabbit hole that has no end in sight to it. I mean, she wasn't the brightest bulb in the tree to begin with, obviously. Um, but Jesus, just the group of celebrities, the group of celebrities that these people have have conjured together <laughs> to represent MAGA is is startling. It, it really is startling, but funny to watch. It was one of those minutes where you go. Thank you, God, because yes. I do feel like God puts me where he wants me. I mean, I'll tell you all that later, but no, so I, I go like, hey, I'm a lady citizen journalist for my old age. Hell, that's great. That it's is. great because, you know, I love I is that like, a whole conversation. Go, is she having a whole conversation by herself? Thank you, God, because yes. I do feel like God puts me where he wants me. I mean, I'll tell you all that later, but. No, so <laughs> it's not important. Not important. East is coming up, you know, resurrection and all that. But we who needs to we can get into that after uh the uh Democrats blood feasting on uh pizza children. Shit. I, I go satire. YouTube, that was satire. Satire. Like, hey, I'm a lady citizen journalist for my old age. Hell, that's great. That it's is. great because you know, I love that uh Oh, no, I can't remember her name, but that one. That <laughs> the most important time of my life was actually, I don't remember when uh, specifically, but it was around, not sure what month, uh, and it involved this lady. She was the most important lady in my life. Can't quite think of her name at this job that I had. It was the most important job I ever had. I'll, the, the name of the company will come to me at some point. <laughs> that used to interview everybody in the 50s she had her own show and she did the greatest interviews i'm so stupid i can't remember her name easy roseanne you gotta protect what's left up there maybe you can't be just hitting yourself on the head like that you know how people get cte i can't remember her name but that one that used to interview everybody in the 50s she had her own show and she did the greatest interviews. I'm so stupid. I can't remember her name. Jake, check that lady out. <laughs> oh, this is good. My son. The lady in the 50s who yeah. used to interview she people. Had a, she had a great interview show. Anyway. She had a kid. That should narrow it down. <laughs> that should narrow it right down. <laughs> uh, that should... Oh, perfect. I need no more. Uh, pull up, just pulled it up. Lady, 50s, kid. Got it. Anyway, but I like being a citizen journalist. Like... Who the fuck put that boniker on you? When the fuck did this happen? Because you spoke at CPAC? <laughs> like, what? That gives you journalist cred now? What is a... <laughs> what is a journalist shit? Does she have a fucking sub stack? What? <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, you know, like, you know, like you. I totally fucking forgot to thank you guys, too, at the beginning because of all the I probably sound like a chipmunk or something. So I was figuring all that out. But I did want to thank uh, everybody that has given a super chat, uh, d just donated to the Venmo, given a, a, a membership, donated memberships, uh, became a patron. Uh, you guys have absolutely blown my mind with how much uh support and and uh, uh well wishes and you know uh just uh messages uh, it the whole thing has just been incredibly overwhelming and i'm sorry i forgot to say that in the beginning especially on easter where i should be extremely thankful for uh what i have so i do 
want to make sure that you guys know I appreciate the shit out of you guys. Um, so whether it's liking, please make sure you like this, share this out, make sure people know that we're live, make sure people know that we're here. I'm hoping to get people in here that don't, you know, typically congregate in these spaces and maybe we could change a couple of hearts and minds. That would be fantastic. If not, I love hanging out with, with the, the group that we have put together here. You guys are fucking beyond fantastic. It's beyond a pleasure to, to uh, sit here and, and chat with you about politics and what's going on in the world. Um, so thank you very much. There's, uh, to, you know, to, to the people that bought merch because in, on the YouTube page, you can check out uh, uh, the t-shirts that Mel has designed especially coming up with this election, rocking these t-shirts out. And if you're maybe not in the bluest area and let people know where the fuck you stand, uh, they have great messages on them dealing with, with mental health. Uh, we got uh, 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 Ukraine t-shirts and sweatshirts that every single penny goes to United 24, which is the Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, 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 you know, he's the one that, that, that puts the, the United 24 together. Um, so we know that it's a credible place. We know, you know, that they're doing right things with the, with the money. So, uh, uh, anything that is related to Ukraine on the merch store, uh, get them shirts, dot my Shopify. It goes straight to, to, uh, United 24. We, uh, we make absolutely nothing on that. So, uh, and back to, uh, uh, Roseanne and the, <laughs> the most, the most fallen of journalists over the last, say, what, six, seven months. Uh, yes, and we'll get to some uh, uh, news and some happenings, JD, of what's going on. Thank you, Jacqueline, so much. Holy shit. I mean, I don't, that's another reason I don't, I think myself and other people have trouble uh, kind of self promoting, let's say. I think it's terrible. I don't want to make it seem like, I'm thanking you to make you do it. I'm thanking you because you did it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, so it's not like I'm thanking you to initiate a, a round of whatever happens. I am thanking you because you guys initiated the, the generosity. So I want to make sure that we get the loop right. And I'm not, you know, I don't know. I just, I have an issue with the whole fucking self-promotion thing. It's just, it's not something I, I like, but you guys have been more than fantastic. PETA, uh, uh, right off the bat, Mick, uh, everybody that's given $1, $2, I don't give a shit what it is, if it's 50 fucking cent. Uh, not the rapper, just, the you know, like two quarters. But um, yeah, any anything, any amount. And like I said, the Patreon, we got several different tiers on there from, from uh, you know, the low dollar amount to, I think the highest is, is 25 bucks. Um, you get, uh, merch and in 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 different different gear and different zooms that we chat about so th uh, thank you jacqueline i appreciate you that is the best you rock carl you're the fucking man tell the pup i said hello give a treat for me uh mick again thank you so much uh bless you man let's fucking go so you can do more good you're the i mean it doesn't get honestly it doesn't get any better than that happy easter to you uh, as well if you do celebrate all right let's get back to uh asshole and asshole you're a real journalist, you know, but you're also a writer, which astounds me because we never see that anywhere. I mean, you are such a great writer. Well, so I, I want to talk to you about that. But you're oh. she had a great interview show anyway. But I like being a citizen journalist. Like, you know, like, you know, like you're a real like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, she must write a fucking killer column. I can't wait to, hear, to to read that one. That must be fucking fantastic. Hope she doesn't have a limit on the characters that she could use because she's going to use a fucking lot of them up with uh, likes and ums and... Real journey. Peter! But you're also a writer, which astounds My man. me because we never see that anywhere. Happy Easter to you, sir. If you do celebrate, if you do not, I wish you a beautifully relaxing and wonderful Sunday with the people that you love. Uh, and thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, one of the, the OGs here, one of the people that literally keep this place going. So thank you so much. Eight, <laughs> what's that say? Eight, eight of wands. I'm trying to see the picture of that helped me out in the name. Eight of wands. Thank you so much. Appreciate your work and passion, Brian. Well, I appreciate your passion and support being here. Uh, it really means a lot to me and everybody else. So, and it's, it's nice to see that people in the chat talk to each other and not just 
reacting to what I'm doing and stuff. So that's pretty cool to me too that you guys know each other. You recognize them from from other chats that you're in, uh, watching other channels. So that's pretty cool. It is. I mean, you are such a great writer. Well, so I want to talk to you about that, and I look forward to doing that. <laughs> what the fuck does he write? You're a good writer. Your laugh sucks, but you're a good writer. <laughs> but you are such a great writer because even he's laughing at that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I mean, you are such a great writer. Like you're a real it's journalist, his face. you know. But you're also a writer, which astounds me because we never see that anywhere. I mean. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> he knows. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about, lady? You're fucking off your tree. You are such a great writer. Oh, so so I want to talk to you about that. And I look. <laughs> Let me take this out of the way. Let me see if I can do this. Make that a little better. A little smoother. A little smoother for you. You're doing that. <laughs> But you are such a great writer because I have so much to say. I want to say it like this. Let me think. I, I'm a deeply religious Jew. Jesus Christ. Which is why they call me a Nazi and an anti Semite. Right. Of course. Of course. Who doesn't put the, who doesn't make that connection? You know, um, just, obvious um i don't know if i i don't know if i don't even know if i have anything for that probably just another one of bing, these bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. all i know about magnets is this give me a glass of water let me drop it on the magnets that's the end of the magnets <laughs> the problem is i have 97 drops saved on my fucking soundboard which clearly people can uh, cannot hear and i only have a few of them on the actual thing on the actual app itself so that being the case, we continue. Um, and a racist. Yeah. yeah. Or... And a transphobe and a whatever. A, a Zionist baby killer. They call me everything. And before that, when I was on the left, the right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that people would call you that. Um, it really didn't know in today's world. Right, used to, but they're the same, I guess. It's all the same people. Oh, they're noticed. playing different parts. They just call me a cow, a whole, you know, uh, you know, destroying the American dream, uh, man hater. You know, they're always throwing stuff at me, and none of it was ever true. But I had to live through the, all that gauntlet of hate since I first showed up. Sorry, we Hollywood. haven't answered your questions. Arlene Francis. No, not Arlene. She was good, though. Barbara not Barbara Walters. I knew her. She. Oh, they're trying to they're trying to guess the lady that she was talking about in the beginning. It was good though with Anwar Sadat, wasn't she? No, no, she was a kind of. An the fuck are you getting mad at them for? You're the one that fucking forgot. Get mad at them. They're literally going through the internet trying to pull up random fucking women that had a kid in the fifties that were journalists. Ugly little woman with brown hair. Okay. Alters, I knew her. She was they good were. though with Anwar Sadat, wasn't she? No, no, she was a. Kind of an ugly little woman with brown hair. <laughs> okay, so an ugly little Damn woman it. with brown hair. Faye Emerson? No. Wendy Berry? No. Check Google ugly little woman with brown hair. <laughs> oh my. 1950. Oh. The greatest interview. May Brussels. Thank you, God. May Brussels. Mm -hmm. Was this on Salt Lake City stations? Yeah, my dad used to watch it. Okay. And and he'd say, uh, this this woman has integrity. You know, my dad used to decode media for me. Yes. Because he wanted to be a comedian. So he always showed me how comedy works and you know anyway oh my god i can't even focus my mind but anyway she's 
She is fucking all over the place. <laughs> oh man. God damn it. What the fuck? I'm so mad that's not working. Anyway. So, so you said you're a deeply religious Jew. Yeah, and since I was three Well, back to that. That was what, thirteen minutes ago? Three years old. I wrote it in my third book called Rose Anarchy. I had a conversation going with God. I wrote it in my book. Uh, you know how? Yes. Yes. Because we all know if somebody comes up to you in the subway and immediately opens up with their conversation that they've been having with God for the last, I don't know, 40, 50 years, I'm sure everybody's going to be receptive to that. Little kids have an imaginary friend. Yes. Well, mine was God. It's kind of... Oh, boy. You're a deeply religious Jew. Yeah, and since I was three years old, I wrote it in my third book called Rose Anarchy. I have had a conversation going with God. I wrote it in my book. Uh, you know how little kids have an imaginary friend? Yes. Well, mine was God. It's well, kind of weird. You chose wisely. Yeah, because that's all we studied. It was an Orthodox Jewish family. And uh, so that was my friend. And I talked to him when I would read and study. I wanted to know everything about it, you know, and I would talk to him. And he'd always answer this in my book. Yeah. <laughs> I said, how come you, you could solve every problem on earth all you got to do is just wiggle your little finger and you could stop all these problems why can't you do that you all you have to do is wiggle your finger because i was a suffering child. yes and he said to me because i don't have fingers roseanne <laughs> do that you 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 could solve every problem on earth all you got to do is just wiggle your little finger and you could stop all these problems why can't you do that you all you have to do is wiggle your finger because i was a suffering child. yes and he said to me because i don't have fingers roseanne oh. but you do and he said, and you should be very proud of that opposable thumb that I put. Happy Easter, Lisa. Hope you have a good one. Put on that hand of yours, because now you can really get busy helping a lot of people and trying to, to make things right. And he always gave me the answer that I Martin, welcome, brother. Appreciate you. Knew God would give me. He didn't ever go, yeah, go get them. Yeah, they're wrong in their religion. He didn't never say none of that. So I knew it was him, you know. Got to be. He didn't say it. He said none of that. So <laughs> you can't even make a joke about it. I don't even know how to fucking make a so joke he about that. He told me all the time, go over here and do this and go over there and do that. And just trust me on this. And I, I did that my whole life with the exception of the few marriages that really <laughs> kept me up. <laughs> Yeah, where were you on that one, God? Huh? Where the fuck were you on that one? Left me high and dry. But then I got rid of those guys and continued on the path I was supposed to go on. You Did know? you not ask for guidance on the marriages? Uh, you know, I didn't listen. Yeah. It wasn't God's fault. Yeah, yeah. he told me, but I go, ah, I'm putting you on hold. Yeah. I got some physical business that you don't know. Um, if I pray for one thing today, it'll be to never hear Roseanne talk about physical contact ever again. Amen. I know about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he knew? Oh, and also, 
Um, can we not hear Tucker Carlson's laugh ever, ever again? Like, ever again. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, yeah. 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 But it wasn't anything. I was married, so it wasn't anything bad. Right. I mean, except for that it was horrible sex. Which I just, what did I say? What the fuck did I just say? Good, you know, come on. You know, people should not have sex. That's one way that we can fix the world right now. Uh, aren't Republicans talking about declining birth rates? Um, isn't that a... Uh, isn't that... Wouldn't that go against everything that conservatives? <laughs> Does people stop having sex? Yes, absolutely. That's a tough one. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, it might be tough. It might be tough. You could ask. You could ask them, but you know, make it a lot of laughs. Make it a lot of dirty looks on that one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Might. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's hard I know. To... What about you, chat? You gonna give up sex for Roseanne? You'd give up sex, right? For the rest of your life for Roseanne? To fix the world, if Roseanne said so? Like quitting smoking or something. I know. <laughs> Unless you're married and you can take care of the kids that are going to be a result of it. Yeah. Right? Isn't well, that common sense? I strongly agree. And we have journalists such as yourself with a conscience. <clears throat> Spit it, Roseanne. Shit, nobody's saying. Because it's, you know, ridiculous, but at least nobody's saying it. Who care about this country and what it means and how we have to do everything we can to save it. And yeah. This is awesome. Struggling. Uh, struggling. She just, I mean, come on, this is just nonsense from somebody that has clearly got some uh, screws loose. Um, and Tucker Carlson is clearly exploiting that uh, to further his own uh, business and, uh, uh, you know, financial ventures, let's say. Yes. This late, late date. Late date. For all of us, hello. Yes. And stop buying in the bullshit. You know, I said that it, to introduce the POTUS, the deep state bullshit. Well, actually, it's funny you mentioned that we have that clip. Really? Yes. Oh. Roseanne Barr, this is your life. Here you are. Aren't we all fed up with the deep state bullshit? <laughs> this is her claim to fame. Right here, this is her claim to fame. This is why, uh, this is what talk, Tucker Carlson thinks is her uh, being back on the scene. Uh, and being everywhere. This is her being everywhere. In the bullshit. <laughs> we want Trump, the Magador, to kill that goddamn bull. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, demon be gone. Good Lord Almighty. That just went right through my body. Oh, stop it. I can't do it. I can't. Obviously, enjoying that immensely. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> it was so awesome. For the people that can hear it. God, I really wish you could hear the drops because that was a good one for the moment. That was a good one. If, can anybody name the movie? Name the movie. For the people that can hear it, name the movie. For the people that can't hear it, it goes, All I smell is your bullshit. Awesome. If anybody no, gets it off just me saying it, then you get a fucking prize. Awesome. You know, if you can guess that, play it again. <laughs> I know, Alyosha, some people can, some people can't. I'm just saying for the people that can. The speakers just blew up. I know, that was terrible. Like, literally. 
Can I win? Yes, you can win, Mel, if you guess it. Because I don't think I told you what movie it was from. Oh, you might have seen it when I put it in there, but no. Yay! Win a win a chicken dinner. That's a pretty good fucking call. Because there's not much to go on on that. Not much to go on. <laughs> good job, Kath. I'm fucking highly impressed on that one. Highly impressed on that one. All right, a little more of this, and then we'll we'll move on to something else. You know, come alive. So. No, it was Axel Foley's boss in Beverly Hills Cop. Fuck, and I'm such an asshole that I can't think of his name right now. I shouldn't know it. Inspector Todd is his name. I think even if, like, you didn't like Trump and you weren't going to vote for Trump, you'd look at that and be like, that looks like a pretty good time. Oh, no, I wouldn't do it if I oh, oh, of course. Cap got it because she just watched it a week ago. That's awesome. I love that movie. All three of them, my favorite. Uh, I don't know. Do I have a banana in the tailpipe? I thought I had a banana in the tailpipe, but I don't think so. Uh, no, but I do have this one. Which is Trump saying, I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. In this one. Dumps. Big, massive dumps. I don't mean you, but like, I how can anyone watch that? Watch that. You're wearing a yeah. cowboy hat. I know, Yak Tim. I'm sorry. At some point, I'll get it working to, so everybody can hear it. There's no fucking logical reason right now why some can't and some can't. Uh, so, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. That's why I'm repeating it after I play it so that the people that can't fucking hear it can hear it. At yeah, I swiped obscenities. it off a guy. <laughs> you did? And they didn't have the mic, so I had to stand on my tiptoes, which, you know, I could barely reach the mic. Which, if you, you know, you could have extended it down a little bit if you wanted to. Or they, like you said, they could have accommodated you and gave a shit about what you had to say and your comfort level and making you, you know, feel like you're wanted there and giving you maybe a platform to step on so you didn't look like an asshole. But you had that whole outfit on, so I guess that was going to be tough not to look like. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, I swiped this hat off the guy. And, uh, you know, I didn't like how my hair looked. Don't you like how my hair? You know, I cut my own hair with toenail clippers. It took me four days. What? What? I don't even know. I don't. That's another one. I don't even know. <laughs> Turn them off. Toenail. I mean, who does? Do you guys cut your hair with toenail clippers? Am I missing out on something here? Just hat off the guy, and uh, you know. I didn't like how my hair looked. Don't you like how my hair... You know, I cut my own hair with toenail clippers. It took me four days. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Thank you. Thank you. But I cut it hair by hair because I was so sick of it. But yeah, I mirror? had a yeah, of course in the mirror. I'm not crazy. She's not serious. Please tell me she's not serious. And is she about to say yes in the mirror because I'm not crazy? After telling Tucker Carlson she cut her hair with toenail clippers? Is that what's going on right now? Is that what's about to happen? It took me four days. But I cut it hair by hair because I was so sick of it. But yeah, I mirror? had a yeah, of course in the mirror. I'm not crazy. Did anyone see you? <laughs> but I cut it hair by hair because I was so sick of it. But yeah, I mirror? had a yeah, of course in the mirror. Peter. For the love of all that is holy, especially on Easter, thank you. I mean, I I don't even, I'm going to have to rename my channel. 
This whole channel is going to have to be renamed. Just going to have to be PETA. PETA Live. It's the PETA channel. Thank you so much. Uh, anybody who, I don't even know if there's 50 people in here that can <laughs> to get me gifted, but thank you. Anybody that gets gifted a sub from PETA or anybody else, please show your appreciation. Please show your love. Um, happy Easter, PETA. Thank you so much for being here uh, every single show. Thank you for being so generous every single show. Uh, thank you for helping people that may not be in the position to get a membership, uh, the ability to you know get more of the perks and uh, uh, become a channel member. Um, if you do become a channel member uh, through a gifted membership, um, I think on, oh, I can now say this, something on Twitch about Prime and Dimes. Uh, 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 on Twitch, Prime, Amazon Prime, if you got a membership, it doesn't cost you a dime thing. That one. I know, that one. Uh, anyways, I, it's got to be that one, right? I think it's that one. Amazon Prime doesn't d dime, Prime, Slimes, and, 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 and Mimes, I think. Anyways, thank you, thank you, Pete. I appreciate you very much. Uh, uh, thank you to er Instagram has disconnected the stream. They currently disconnect streams after one hour. Well, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Like whatever, Instagram. Here, I'm not crazy. Did anyone see you do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. I was in a room by myself. <laughs> but uh, no, but I. Roseanne by in a room by herself, looking in the mirror, cutting her hair with fucking toenail clippers. Mega. I, I loved it, and I had spent a lovely week down there at Mar-a-Lago. It was so awesome, and I, I just loved it. What do you think of Trump the guy? You know him, obviously. What yeah, do you think little. of him? Yeah, one of the what she said, what Mel said down there. She's better at it than I am. Where is it? Where is it? Where am I? Yep, one of those things. Well, as I always say, he's the only guy in my Hollywood career that ever returned a favor. He's the only one who ever returned a favor. What was your favor? And gave me back more than I had given him. Up. So you're saying you gave Donald Trump money? Why would you why would you give a billionaire money? Roseanne, is that what's going on? How how what was this for? Why did you give him money? I think he has such integrity. I think he's Oh, mm, doesn't he? Doesn't he fucking know? Doesn't he just? He fucking integrity. The man's just got integrity coming out his ears now. I mean, that's pretty good. Fuck you. I mean, everybody thinks my accent sucked. That was pretty fucking good. All right. That was pretty fucking good, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, the, the, what is it? Twice impeached. Uh, four times indicted. 91 count having. Uh, over what three or four different jurisdictions? Uh, credibly, fuck. What do you call it? Found found civilly liable for raping E. Jean Carroll. Was then found to have defamed uh, the woman that he was found to have uh, 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 credibly raped, credibly raped by a jury of his peers, um, in which he then was uh, prosecuted and she was awarded um, damages for that. Uh, what else? He had sex with a porn star while his wife was pregnant. Um, he wants to have sex with his own daughter. He used to make comments about her physical appearance. Uh, said that the thing that they most have in common is sex. Um, once told a young lady going up an escalator with a young daughter that in several years he would be dating the daughter. I mean, the integrity is just flowing out of his fucking asshole. Unfortunately, it reeks like me a lot he t he says he tries to be funny and he is really funny yeah he the is. guy's really funny he's got great timing and i i i i laugh so you know we all laugh time. i mean he does have great timing ask anybody that's ever been to a trump rally and had to wait three or four hours how good the man's timing is it's fucking impeccable his timing especially with like the health care plan and the infrastructure plan he, those came out in such impeccable timing Two weeks. I mean, we all think he's funny. What what favor did he return? We do think he's funny. Unfortunately, we were laughing at him and not with him. Well, you know, I did. I I was doing my. I think it was my second or third HBO. 
All right, which one hey, it's Tucker Carlson. The internet is crowded with interesting oh, shut things the that don't really fuck up. All right, so let me change the background here. Let me get to the background. Why is nothing showing up? Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna do this one. All right, so how's everybody doing? Welcome to. Welcome to the Easter edition of Blunt Talk. Pl yeah. <laughs> you know what I should play is this one. Get the lights off. And I can talk. I promise I can talk. I, I can talk. But yes, that's what's going on in the right, right wing uh, hemisphere, uh, stratosphere, and atmosphere. Uh, that's the, the level of just intellectual. In the depths of intellectual conversations happening on the right by, you know, Tucker Carlson, and, <laughs> excuse me, and Roseanne and, and others like her. And, you know, who else, who else do we know that, you know, might be good for a couple shitty takes now and again? Uh, it's this gentleman. Now, let's see if I can get this one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, this. I'm going to have to switch this back to this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Dua coming at us. He's going to tell us. Wait, is this the right one? Let me see if this is the right one. This looks like it's too long to be the right one. This is. I'll we'll play a little bit of this. Back little little backstory. This is Jimmy pointing out uh, 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 how Frank Luntz, a right wing political hack pollster, went on CNN to basically claim that if you know the judicial system actually goes through with the laws of this land and actually take Donald Trump's property, that you know because he can't afford to pay damages and you know court fees and other bullshit that he has to pay for. Uh, so the courts are doing exactly what would happen to anybody else in that situation and going after the property that he owns. Therefore, you know, going after the money that he owes to, you know, said clients, said states, said cities, uh, you know, these IRS, et cetera. So this is Jimmy now uh, getting a, a bona, let's say, because Frank Luntz went on CNN with a the world's shittiest toupee uh, to basically hump Donald Trump's leg. Let's just watch, because I really have no meaningful commentary to add to this. There's no politics to it. It's not a political thing. Joe Biden has absolutely no involvement in it. It is a process solely taken out by uh, uh, the legal system in this country, uh, by the DOJ, separate from the President of the United States. Um, just ridiculous that anybody could even conflate this. No sound on what? Oh, on him? All right, sorry. Doesn't matter. He sounds like an asshole anyway. Keep going. That's what they're talking about. And um, Let Letitia James is going to start seizing his. They, they, there's this. Uh, they're saying that he, the Attorney General, might seize Donald Trump's properties. And, yep. Yeah. And so right. that's so now they're going to talk about the politics of this, right? Again, not political. Not a political thing. Has absolutely nothing to do with politics. And so and to Frank, refer to Donald Trump as broke Don. Which is interesting, and then they're they're referring to him as broke down, which is interesting. Yeah, yep. Considering uh, for the last what seven or eight years, Donald Trump has done absolutely nothing but come up with ridiculous fucking nicknames for people uh, to come out and berate and degrade people uh, in front of the media, in front of the entire country, in front of the entire world. So what are you going to do? You're going to be butt hurt because he has a nickname coming back at him. That that's interesting to you. 
that doesn't reveal an emptiness in the political? Okay. An emptiness. So if, say, somebody comes up with a, a, a shitty, degrading nickname, which that's really not degrading because it's pretty factual that he is a broke-ass motherfucker, uh, because uh, for those that can hear it, uh, he should have money because he did this once. He just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. So you should at least have that. All right. The possibility that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, would have to start or would start seizing assets, maybe even buildings. How do you think that would play? I want you to remember this moment. And don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to. Why is that? I don't uh, Why is that going to. They've been saying that for years. Pundits have been going on television since the man was fucking thought about uh, as a candidate for president of the United States. Telling you that this man should not be anywhere near the fucking White House. What what correlation does that have to his properties being seized? Because he's a fucking con man, crook, piece of shit motherfucker that can't pay his fucking bills. That his fucking, his mouth got him into situations that his fucking checks can't cash, motherfucker. Create the greatest victimhood. You know what I say to him? God, I wish you could hear that because it says, fuck you. <laughs> of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If they scream about this, this man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If no, not a chance. The man's been playing victim his entire fucking life. This is absolutely no different. The situation is no different. The man's finally facing accountability for the first time in his fucking entire, entire fucking life. So the fact that we should be, what, taking it easy on him and not following the laws and the rules of the fucking courts and the judicial system. We should just, what, make, you know, okay, no, 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 we can't. You you don't have to pay, sir. We're not going to seize these properties that anybody else in your situation would have the property seized because they can't come up with the cash. You don't want them seized? Come up with the fucking cash. Easy as that. If they take his stuff, he's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the established. He's been saying that for fucking, again, been saying that for years as well. In the swamp in Washington and all the politicians across the country and the attorneys generals and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. He's going to go up in the poll. He's saying that all fucking ready. Why? What? What is? What, what? What are you talking about as a change? What is? What is going to change? He's literally saying that already. So how is that going to all of a sudden sway? Uh, what the, the 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 entire political fucking climate is going to sway because he's finally being held accountable? No, no, no. I guarantee if you poll the American people, they are fucking more than happy, more than willing, more than ready to see that motherfucker lose his properties, or at least more than ready to see him come up with the money to pay his fucking bills. That's all. Again, if he doesn't want the fucking properties taken, come up with the fucking money that he says he has. He says he's got it in his pockets. He says he's got tons of money. Let's go. What's he got? How much money's he got? He's got, uh, he's got, uh, fuck, there's too many of them, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. So I think this one? No, he's just got a nasty mouth, that's all. But Bulls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. So sick of hearing that. So fucking sick of hearing that. How much can his poll numbers go up? He's still only getting fucking 60%. How much could his poll numbers have possibly gone up? I mean, are we talking, did they go up slightly? Yes. Was it a fucking significant amount? No. Did it seem to sway the entire Republican Party back to his side to the 90, 95, 96% that he was getting in 2016? No. The indictment, um, let's not talk about whether it's justified. Excuse me, 2020. Or not. 
but it will. 2016, sorry. Prove the things that he's saying on the campaign trail, and he will go up, and it may just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado. Fuck you. How about that? Here you go. How about that? That's what I have to say to you. That's what I have to say to you. The fucking aid. What's it? Come on. May just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado. What is his fucking job? Can somebody please explain me? What is the AG's job? To me, it seems to be prosecuting fucking individuals that break the fucking law. So guess what? If you don't want to be prosecuted by the attorney general, stop breaking the fucking law, asshole. You fucking asshole. What they did in, I believe, it was Maine. His numbers went up in both states. I don't understand. I'm almost speechless. Oh, uh, God, I wish you fucking were speechless. Because your speech is almost as shitty as your fucking toupee. And how pathetic the opposition to Trump has been. And how complete. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, the opposition has been so weak that he's in fucking court three days a week. He's got 91 charges pending. And he owes about a fucking half a billion dollars. But the opposition, you know what I mean? <laughs> this guy is, and this is a perfect example of it. What do you think about that? What do you think? I mean, <laughs> my biggest question, this is the beauty of Frank having his job, which I don't have, um, is that happened when well, you're talking about Maine, Colorado, when you're talking about what happened in a primary. And while I don't disagree with the optics, I've spoken to people inside Trump world who are saying, instead of bankruptcy, we sit in the peace. Come to Trump Tower, please. We'll have cameras there. We'll have that fight. We'll win that optics battle. Fuck you in the optics. It doesn't matter. Did you see the exit polling? Republicans, Nikki, Nikki Haley voters, people that were voting for Nikki Haley are not, the majority are not going to vote for Donald Trump. Okay, what was it? It's a rather large percentage, okay? I think it was what, 30, 40%? Okay, so not the majority, but a fucking big enough chunk of them are not going to vote for you where it's going to make a fucking difference because you cannot afford to lose any votes. Never mind 30 or 40 percent of, of Republican voters that were going to vote for Nikki Haley. That's just it's not it's not a recipe to win for winning. I think the bigger question is, in a general election and given the fact that the Biden campaign has really latched on to this in a way that they haven't in most legal issues. Broke I was, was right. I've been surprised to hear he, that. he was joking about it last night at a fundraiser as well. Yep. And he got him after the fucking <laughs> after Donald Trump posted about his uh, championships, winning the two championships at his own fucking uh, uh, at his own country club. Uh, we won't even go into that one. But uh, Joe Biden's response to that on Twitter was fucking impeccable, where he was just kind of patting him on the head. Congratulations, Don. Way to go. You done good, sir. You done good. Way to spend 287 years of presidential salaries fucking golfing while you were president. 287 years worth of salaries that we could be paying for the presidents of the United States. On golf trips. Fuck out of here. As well, that was off camera. Whether or not that rise in the polls can carry into a general election. And you'd know better than, I mean, you're talking to. So. Did, did this guy get stamped in a plastic mold at Mattel? No kidding. Was that a joke? I'm sorry, but it, should this guy be talking about people looking like they're plastic? Right? I mean, turn down your fucking ring light, pal. What's going on there? What's going on? Why is, I mean, is that, you look like Scarface. You look like Don Jr. just fell asleep in a pile of blow. What's that on your nose, Chief? <laughs> What's going on with that one, buddy? I don't think anybody should be making fun of your, uh, I don't think you're anybody to be making fun of anybody's appearance, let's just say. Look at this. Look at it. that. Look at this, this android. This is, this is, this. Look at this android. Would he say the same thing about me? 
<laughs> that, so am I an android? I mean, because I think if I put on a suit, not sure I'd look much different. Uh, I'd just have to shave a little bit, right? I mean, he's probably, I don't know how old he is. I'm assuming he's a lot younger than I am. But if I shaved, put on a suit, would I be an android? <laughs> this is a Pete Buttigieg. Mispronounce on purpose or just too dumb to know how it's actually pronounced? What is Buddha gig? What is that? Is that, I don't, what does that mean? What is that supposed to represent? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, why, why is this person being paid for their opinion? Says the guy currently being paid for his fucking opinion why he has absolutely nothing to offer clearly okay really. can't keep stopping so it. i mean so this is frank luntz the guy with the first guy with the toupee who right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, called that one Called that one. Not that it was too hot to spot. It's literally the worst I've ever seen, but Jimmy picked up on it too, obviously. Um, who he He's a spin meister. He was hired to turn phrases faster than a drill bit, but... Again, he just came... <laughs> he knows that the guy was there to spin stories faster than a drill bit, yet he's talking about him being on CNN pointing out the truth. Do we see... Do we see the issue here? Do we see where Jimmy contradicts himself literally in his own fucking clips that he put out that he could edit but didn't contradicts himself? So the guy that's paid to spin stories faster than a drill bit just said out of Jimmy's mouth. Yet in the beginning, he's so happy that truth is finally being pointed out on CNN. Go fucking figure that one out. Now he actually told the truth. Oh, uh, now he's telling the truth. Yep. You know, yep, now he's telling the truth. Now, it's for some reason, now he decided to come out and tell the truth. Except for what? His skull rug. Right. So if he's not, he's one lie. He's still keeping one lie. He's, he's changed his entire life around, clearly. He's not lying anymore. Spinning stories faster than a drill bit. But he can't come clean with the toupee. That's good. Uh, <laughs> he, he, it's almost... It's almost as if this is intentional. It's undoubtedly the Dems want Trump to win. They need him the way Sean Combs needs a new passport. <laughs> He's a comedian. He can't even get his own. I, I, I bet the guy, I, was that Kurt in the back? Because he probably wrote that fucking joke and he still didn't laugh at it. Or... He heard nobody else laugh at it, so he felt necessary to come in and laugh at his own fucking joke. Because, come on, that was just fucking pitiful. It's, it's almost as if this is intentional. It's undoubtedly the Dems want Trump to win. They need him the way Sean Combs needs a new passport. <laughs> See, no laugh. <laughs> no laugh whatsoever. And then Kurt, or whoever's in the background that probably wrote that joke that Jimmy just said, laughs at his own joke <laughs> with without the anvil of donald trump to 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 hang over our heads the democrats would then have to explain why they do such an accurate impression of republicans no mm, unfortunately we'd still have many mega assholes many republicans many conservatives that we'd have to deal with in the united states government uh this isn't going to end with donald trump Unfortunately, even when he uh, has the same body temperature as the earth and the worms are feasting on his, let's say, I don't know, Chanel number no. five makeup kit that he's buried with, uh, it's not going to matter. It's, it's, it, it's not going to end. This isn't something that's going to end overnight. It didn't happen overnight, and it's not going to end overnight, regardless of who's leading it. Uh, we have to continue this fight. We have to make sure we get out and vote, get people involved. Get everybody involved and let them know how important it is. Because again, with Marjorie Taylor Greens and Lauren Boebert's uh, fucking uh, what, what's his name, Matt Gates, uh, even as much trouble as that he's in, he might not be around too much longer. But you never know. 
uh, 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 slippier worms have been fucking have slid out of more trouble before. Let's just say. I mean, yes. they are they are the Mike McRae of politics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, there he is. So there is Frank Luntz, who is no. Donald Trump fan. He's a fucking Republican spinster. He's there warning these people. He's upset. Mm -hmm. He's upset, you fucking morons. <laughs> that do you not understand that every time you indict him, his poll numbers go up? And this genius. Oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. They make it seem like his poll number, like he's getting uh, uh, two hundred and thirty percent of the Republican Party vote. Like his numbers skyrocket every single time he gets indicted. The numbers he got a little push from Republicans that weren't really paying attention, saw the headlines, maybe fucking into the poll. That's what it was. And then they went right back to doing what the fuck they were doing before, which is exactly why he can only get, what, uh, high 50s to low 70s uh, percentage-wise of the Republican Party vote. Uh, some states he did well, but we got it uh, percentage-wise. But if you look at the amount of voters that came out, it doesn't look like he has that much enthusiasm behind him. It says, well, that's in the primary. That was just that. that that's not going to carry through to the general election. That's what that guy was saying, right? Right. Well, well, yeah, that's why I'm saying I, I, this is what they're paid for. I mean, I can answer my own question. They're paid to. Good. I'm glad you asked it then. I'm glad we fucking I'm glad we're wasting our time so you can just have a conversation with yourself. Tell their brain dead remaining viewers uh, these fairy tales and stories of good versus evil and oh well it, it it makes people feel like they're smart and getting this insider take but it's all just intellectual parlor games and bullshit that's what they get paid for they know that's what they're there for just just say some shit well I'm literally what frank Lentz went on that show to do just say some shit just repeat the talking point coming straight out of donald trump's mouth uh uh to an audience uh, on CNN and make it seem like you're some sort of fucking uh, uh, hero for doing so. Um, but but not a Donald Trump fan. You know, he's no Donald Trump fan, but just repeating the same exact fucking lines verbatim that came out of Donald Trump's mouth. Not sure. Okay, so so you're not sure. So why am I even... Make sure you guys are liking the stream. Make sure you guys are sharing it out. Uh, it's 2 30 got about a half hour left. Um, I do appreciate you guys being here on Easter, all 746 of you. Hope you guys have eaten some good food. Hung out with your families. Um, yeah, happy Easter. Let's go. I've been listening to you. Why am I listening to you? Why don't I? Slanchy. I just listen to the guy at the corner. The guy at the corner has an opinion too. What makes your opinion better than that guy's opinion? Because experience tells us the opinions of Ken dolls like this are usually far worse than the opinions that you're going to find at the corner bodega. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Why would you listen to these people? And Frank Luntz is telling them what they don't want to hear. So it has nothing to do with what we don't want to hear. It's fucking literally factually incorrect, intellectually dishonest bullshit talking points from the MAGA fucking crowd and Donald Trump himself. Okay, that's literally what he just went on this view. So this. they're they're in the spin control. For and then audience. he just goes, well, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't think it's going to carry into the, let's see. Is that what he said? Yeah, why not? Is that what he said, Jimmy? Did he sound just like that? He's telling them what they don't want to hear. So he, they're they're in the spin control. For and then audience. he just goes, well, uh, you know, I, 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 <laughs> well, I got something for that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to carry. The drop was yesterday is a hard word for me for people that can't fucking hear it for some fucking stupid motherfucking reason. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, else why not? Time. Based on what? Why, why wouldn't would it? it not carry over to the election? Why wouldn't that carry to the general? Oh, it's just in the primary. Then people don't care about the general. People care more about the primary than the general. What the fuck? Anyway, well, th this, is, this is why libs are always surprised by events. We are always surprised by winning. Um, we're always surprised at the fact that. You know, Donald Trump got his ass handed to him in 2020. The Republicans got their ass handed to them in 2022, and they're about to get their asses handed to them in 2024. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it comes as a surprise that you guys uh, suck at politics as much as you do. Because the sources of information they listen to are not in the news business. They're in the comforting those people business. 
They're in the comforting libs business. So that's really what he's doing there. He's reassuring the audience. Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all. Okay. A true leader. If they lose, I should not get blamed. But if they win, I should get all the credit. Spoken like a true, true leader. Audience. Well, you know, just because he says that doesn't mean it's going to carry over. Because if you really start laying the truth on those people, they'll go over to MSNBC. MSNBC is never going to tell them a hard truth. Yes, we all know MSNBC is on the top of everybody's list right now with their attempt to hire Ron McDaniel. Um, yeah, yeah, people are just dying to head over there. Uh, even the fucking people that work there didn't want to be there if she was going to be hired. So, again, idiot. Uh, let's see if there's anything more to this clip. Okay, what Jimmy. You know How is Donald Trump beating Joe Biden? He's got 85 indictments that still exist. Felonies. How is he beating Joe Biden with the economy getting better and things cleaning up? Let's see here. Let's see if I can look up. <clears throat> Latest. General election. Okay, let's see here. I'll share the screen instead for a second. Let me know if you can see it. Uh, I can't really make that bigger, so what I'll do is this so that you can see it. Okay, we'll go back to this. Uh, okay, presidential general election, 35. Let's see what this is. The do Americans have a favorite opinion? How popular is Joe Biden? The March 2024 Biden, Biden, 44, Trump 45. This is the most recent. So basically tied with the margin of error. Trump plus one, but the margin of error has got to be a little bit more than that, I would assume. Tied on that one. Let's see here. Where's the general? What the fuck? So state by state, state by state. That's all I got is a state by state on this one. Biden, Trump. Trump will bloody. It's not great to look at. Why is this slow now? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, and like I said, uh, we'll, we'll, you can, the polls nowadays, like again, who answers the phone? I was looking at Rasmussen that came out with the, that had that ridiculous poll of talking about Joe, Joe Biden's bloodbath and how 60% uh, of, of uh, Americans think that uh, the, the, the media is the enemy of the state which is fucking absolutely asinine. Um, I wish I had that. I don't have enough time to even go into that. Uh, Biden takes press to task over coverage of his polls. Trump and Biden polls. Joe has finally stopped the bleeding. Could Biden's problems with black voters will Trump win? Nope, not going to happen. Trump versus Biden in the latest polls. Let's see what this one is. Tied. Right fucking smack dab in the middle. Right in the middle. Smack dab. So as far as uh, uh, Trump leading in the polls, uh, it looks like Biden has been somewhat, if you look at that, been pretty consistent. Biden took a little dip in, what is that, February 1st? What happened in February? Maybe the, the border situation, the, the Republicans getting their border talking points in, and then look at Biden since then. Look at Biden since then. On the up and ups, on the up and ups, as you can see, Paul, uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, cresting, you know what I mean? Coming to, a, coming to a, a plateau on that one. So heading in the right direction. So it's, you can keep talking about your fucking shitty ass polls as much as you want, but they're not showing you exactly what you think uh, you want to see on that one. Um, let's see. Uh, go back to this. Well, I got 
we'll give a couple more minutes of this, and I want to get into something. Um, okay, we got um, it's still have inflation. You still have got immigration. Trump is leading, and in the seven swing states, Trump is up by the margin of error in five out of seven. Why is that happening? Because his critics are stupid, <laughs> and they're running a horrible campaign. No. And for those people who do not want... So he just called all those people on that panel at the CNN in that beautiful studio, stupid. <laughs> he just called it because you people are stupid. That's why Donald Trump is... No, not at all. That's because people are susceptible to right-wing talking points, especially when uh, our uh, one half of our entire government has done nothing but try to go after joe biden for uh, uh baseless accusations of corruption with zero evidence to prove um they've gone after his son they've gone after uh, uh his brother his associates um that has in effect unfortunately um it's a known fascist tactic if you just keep the dirty headlines coming if you just keep the no matter how ridiculous they are how much evidence how much it's lacked uh, uh to be backed up with evidence it, it doesn't matter uh Unfortunately, we're a headline society, and a lot of people just catch the the headline, and they're they're happy with that, and they don't read the, the second, third, fourth, fifth paragraph. Unfortunately, which is where most of the information actually lies. Is winning in five out of seven swing states because you people are stupid, but they look great. That guy, I got to tell you, Mister Jackson Hinklehair looks great in that suit. His suit looks fantastic. <laughs> let's let's watch. So here, uh, Donald Trump back. They should be thankful that the people who are orchestrating his loss are as pathetic and they don't understand the American people. Quick last word. And they don't understand the American people. And I just want to show you this. Here's the Democrats. This is Trump. That's the Democrats. <laughs> so a person can become so determined to destroy another person that they become blind and end up destroying themselves. Oh. That's what the Democrats have done since Trump. They've destroyed everything they claim to stand the for. They became authoritarian. They became a uh, censorious. They became against free. We became authoritarian. This fucking guy's hilarious. Speech. They became against uh, bodily autonomy, right to choose. They became against the democratic process. They became against their own, the, the voters themselves, the American people. They be they became against everything. They they became for political uh, prosecutions. They became. We're against everything, but for political prosecutions. At least we're for something. For lying to courts. The FBI lied yep. 17 times to the FISA court to get a tap on Donald Trump's uh, campaign, and they got mm. it. And they still couldn't find a crime to indict him on. Well, if you look at the Mueller investigation, which I believe had 36 different uh, people indicted and convicted, I believe six or seven of them were directly linked to either Donald Trump's campaign or Donald Trump himself, uh, three businesses, and uh, several... Um, what was it several million dollars? I think that investigation actually paid for itself. Was that the one that paid for itself? I think it was the one that paid for itself. I think that was the one that actually took in more money that uh, than it cost. I could be wrong. There was one of them that actually, <laughs> you know, took in more than it actually cost. So it cost us nothing, but we actually, you know, took people off the streets that were committing crimes. So they became yeah. they they became right, I'm done with this. for the CIA. I'm done, they became I'm done with this one. This is one that I wanted to get to, and I'm not gonna. I'm not going to let this motherfucker stop me. All right, we're going to go to here. We're going to go to making this bigger. Okay. This right here. And I'm not going to try to end this on a bad note. I just want to show the information and let everybody else make an informed assessment. Um, unfortunately, it is a sensitive topic, but we can't shy away from sensitive topics here. Um, if we're going to be talking about politics, we got to talk about it all. This is Francesca Albanese, okay, and she is the repertoire for the, um, here, let's see, pull this back up, pull this back up. She is the UN special repertoire to the Palestinian, Palestinian um, territories uh, since 1967, basically that's the name of them, but she was appointed uh, not that long ago. She's done a an investigation um and i just want you to hear a little bit of what she has to say about her findings basically so i want to start this from the beginning let the gentleman introduce her so you can get 
a little more information. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this press conference at the Palais des Nations in Geneva, which is currently hosting the 55th regular session of the United Nations Human Rights Council. We are very pleased to have with us Ms. Francesca Albanese, who's the special reporter on the situation of human rights in the Palestinian territories occupied since 1967. The United Nations Human Rights Council appointed Francesca Albanese as the holder of this mandate on April 1st, 2022. April 21st, 2022, she was appointed, okay? So not yesterday, she's been in there for a minute. Since the start of the, her mandate, and thank you, Peter. I try to pronounce people's names the way they should be pronounced, no matter what language it's in. Um, sometimes I sound like an idiot doing it. Sometimes I get it correct. Maybe I got that one correct. Ms. Albanese has presented four reports, two to the UN General Assembly and two others to the UN Human Rights Council. So she wrote two reports to the Human Rights Council and two reports to... Um, another organization she presented her latest report yesterday to the human rights council and participated and this is from the 27th in an interactive dialogues with un member states and non-governmental organizations the special rapporteur will first make opening remarks and before taking your questions miss albanese vous avez la parole <clears throat> merci uh... please listen please listen this is this is very important um, to combat a lot of the talking points that you hear from, you know, uh, uh, pundits all over the place, uh, people that we watch, people that we like. So let's just please pay attention. I'm going to try to not stop this. I'm going to try to let her speak. Um, and after she gives her introduction, I'm going to cut to one of the questions posed to her by one of the reporters. Uh, so here we go. Uh, bonjour à toutes et tous. After five months of monitoring and analyzing Israel's onslaught on Gaza, my report finds that there are reasonable grounds to believe that the threshold indicating uh, that Israel is committing the crime of genocide against the Palestinians as a group in Gaza has been met. Okay, one more time for the people in the back. Grounds to believe that the threshold indicating uh, that the threshold, Israel the threshold indicating is committing the crime of genocide, that Israel is committing the crime of genocide against the Palestinians, against the Palestinians as a group in Gaza, as a group in Gaza has been met, has been met. Specifically, Israel has committed three acts of genocide with a requisite intent. Israel has committed not one, not two, but three acts of genocide that she could find. Killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, and deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. The flagrant and systematic slaughter of Palestinian civilians, the deployment of unlawful weaponry, the utter obliteration of vital civilian infrastructure, including the deliberate targeting of all Gaza's hospitals and the man-made starvation of the Palestinian people. The man-made starvation of the Palestinian people. And there is ample evidence to support uh, the allegations that Israel is actively prohibiting aid from getting into Gaza. Uh, I'll pull up that article in the clip uh, after this transcend the realm of war crimes and crimes against humanities that had been seen in the occupied Palestinian territory before. The monstrosity unfolding is accompanied by a pervasive anti-Palestinian narrative and dehumanization emanating from the uppermost tires of Israeli society, including high-ranking officials with command authority and frequently reflected in soldiers' actions on the ground. This reflects the intent, a dolus specialis, to destroy in whole or in part, which is what distinguishes genocide from other atrocity crimes. In the case of Gaza, there exists a chilling clarity of this purpose, the systematic eradication of an entire people, or at least a significant part thereof. One of the key findings is that Israel's executive and military leadership and soldiers have intentionally distorted using bellow principles, 
subvertive their protection functions in an attempt to legitimize genocidal violence against the Palestinian people. The only reasonable inference that can be drawn from the unveiling of this policy is an Israeli state policy of genocidal violence toward the Palestinian people in Gaza. I will now be happy to take your questions. Thank you, Ms. Albanese. We'll first take questions from... I mean, not my words, not coming from me. Don't take it from some schmuck in Boston, okay? This is uh, obviously a well-educated woman working um, as a special rapporteur for the UN, giving this assessment after a, a detailed investigation, okay? So again, not my words. I'm going to skip now to one of the questions posed to her, which I think is something that we should all hear, if I could find the spot here. Here we go, right here. Hi, this is for my other outlet, The Lancet. Um, I was wondering, uh, Special Rapporteur, okay. um, can you elaborate That's a little bit it. more on the humanitarian camouflage and uh, other case studies from so violations in the field where is he? in recent years where similar policies have been enacted by armed groups or uh, governments or military. I had the spot up picked up. How much were you inspired in your research by General Maxwell Taylor and the Nuremberg Tribunals? Thank you. Oh, come on. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Therese. Uh, to uh, commit genocide. You I'm going to rewind it just a second. Is... So we can get everything he's saying. Here we go. Um, yes, good afternoon. I'd like to ask you on the intent of the uh, Israeli government or Israeli militaries uh, to uh, commit genocide. You are saying that there is intent. Um, and you're quoting... Uh, the president of Israel, the prime minister, the defense minister, and uh, some uh, top military. Okay, so did we catch that? So using quotes from, let him say it again, direct quotes from. You're quoting uh, the president of Israel. The president of Israel. The prime minister. The prime minister of Israel. The defense minister. The defense minister in Israel. Uh, and uh, some uh, top militaries many top militaries, including the uh, 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 Israeli ambassador to the United Kingdom, which, if we have time, I'll play a clip of. Um, but these are only quotes uh, given in speeches or in other circumstances. I would like to ask you, do you have a written document by the government which a with a clear intent to commit genocide? Think of how fucking ridiculous that question is. When in history <laughs> has a government ever written down as a fucking official policy their intent to commit genocide? Even the Nazis and Hitler was smart enough to keep his name away from anything that had to do with the, with, with, with the Holocaust, okay? There was no official... Uh, 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 Nazi policy that was put out that literally said that we're going to was it in the back rooms was it in the back channels was they did they have shit flowing around that wasn't official policy but was actually what they were doing absolutely but come on right. do you think that in Rwanda and in Bosnia Herzegovina any government officials wrote, wrote a document saying, I want to commit genocide? Have you seen anything like that? I'll, I'll answer this for you. No, it doesn't work like that. There is, those statements are just the tip of the iceberg because I have a word limit in, uh, in my report. She has a word limit. So he's basically, she's basically saying, I could have put a shitload more in there. But because I have a strict word limit in my report, I couldn't have. I had to pick 
specific examples? It is quite strict. Otherwise, we could write an encyclopedia with what has been said and done. And I said it, and I mean it. The, if the International Criminal Court is serious about investigating what Israel has done in Gaza, as of the 7th of October, only as of the 7th of October, it will be busy for decades. Looking at the previous uh, genocides and uh, jurisprudence that has been developed on those cases, it's clear that the intent can be, um, can be direct in uh, statements, uh, uh, public statements, um, declarations, uh, having people uh, in, with uh, command authority or having the... So basically she's saying it doesn't have to be specifically written down, but if you have the president, the prime minister, the defense minister, and high-ranking people in your military going out and the ambassadors going out and telling you that you know a two-state solution is not going to be something that's viable since they've been talking about that since you know the horrendous acts that happened. And let me just obviously put this out there. This is in no way, shape, or form uh, 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 condoning uh, in any way anything that Hamas did. Okay, It was reprehensible. It was atrocious. It was disgusting. Uh, it was an evil act of, of terrorism, and, and, and nobody should ever condone that in any way, shape, or form. But we have to be real about what's going on over there at this moment. We really do. I'm sorry. Uh, and if you want to look at this, I'll show you this. Uh, this is uh, Re Refugee International. Let me see. Make sure you can see it. Yep, you can see it. This is, let's see here. Averting the worst humanity, refugees international fight indicate that the Israeli authorities have failed to implement measures that would generally enhance the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza. This has severely impeded U.S. government's efforts and U.S. supported international efforts to provide humanitarian aid assistance to Gaza. Despite Israeli government assertions of facilitating aid deliveries, uh, evidence since October 7th and in previous conflicts suggests they are doing the opposite by imposing unpredictable and increasingly complex conditions on humanitarian efforts. Uh, uh, that's from Refugees International. Not Again, not my words. Uh, and I know, let's, let's even talk about this. We could even talk about this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. In this remnant bombing definition. Okay. What is the meaning of an indiscriminate bombing? Uh, that is a failure start of state. Indiscriminate bombing means a failure to distinguish between civilian and military targets. Okay. And when you are shooting uh, rockets and dumb bombs that don't have guidance and GPS, uh, uh, you know, coordination with where they're going and laser targeting systems, and you're just sending up uh, bombs that indiscriminately target civilians and, uh, you know, what they think are viable military targets. That's the definition of indiscriminate bombing. That's just what it is. It's a fact. Uh, you don't have to be carpet bombing uh, an area in order to be dis indiscriminately bombing it. Basically, indiscriminate bombing has a scale. Uh, basically, you can indiscriminately bomb with a grenade. Uh, if you throw a grenade over a wall, it's not going to distinguish between civilian and military targets. Uh, that could be all the way up on the other end of the scale to carpet bombing and full out uh, uh, fire bombing like Tokyo, like Dresden. Um, those type of things. So indiscriminate bombing is more of a scale, not a, a, a specific uh, event. So it, it's tough. It's 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 getting more and more. And you can even see uh, U.S. support for Israel. There was a new poll that came out showing the. Uh, you know, the, the slide basically in the support because more people are coming out and saying, listen, I mean, even Joe Biden the other day when he was at his uh, event got interrupted by um, Palestinian protesters and he said they were right. He literally said they were right. Let them speak. They have absolutely every right to be upset. We need to do more. We need to make sure that 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 less people are being put in harm's way. And I know a lot of people like to, oh, uh, you know, Israel drops uh, leaflets and they, and they, they tell people uh, uh, beforehand. 
that's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Do, do, I mean, do they do it? Yes. But does it work? Absolutely not. I mean, uh, uh, if you really want to know, the United States military dropped leaflets um, before they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They were largely ignored. And that's exactly what happens when you drop leaflets to anywhere. Leaflets were widely used in World War II. They did absolutely nothing. Look at how many people died. The leaflet, that piece of paper dropping from the sky does not make it any more viable, any more feasible for these people to pick up their entire fucking life. It doesn't make it so that these people automatically have a place to go and seek refuge because a piece of paper fell out of the sky. It's just, it's impossible to think that that would in any way change these people's situation. It doesn't, doesn't make it so they can get more food. It doesn't make it so they can get more water. It doesn't make it so they can get more fucking medical attention. Um, it's basically a ploy to say, look, we tried. You know, we, we did our best. We dropped a bunch of fucking pieces of paper and, and you know, hope that they would move. They don't know where to move to because they don't know where we're going to strike next. But we were hoping that they move. Uh, just. It, it, it bothers me to no end that. You know, and, and, and we've heard. You know, uh, pundits talk about, you know, emotional responses, and I think that's exactly what people are getting caught up because the uh, attacks on October 7th was so fucking horrendous and so you know uh, uh, egregious that people have the reaction of you know get them back at any cost but if you hear in one of the interviews let's pull up this one might as well finish off we got four more minutes see if I can squeeze it in uh, UK ambassador to no Israel ambassador to the UK sorry is Rail ambassador to the UK. Ambassador to sorry, I typed like a four year old because I haven't used a computer in a long time. Video. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I'll just play a short clip of it. You need to do what, solution. What you Is there did? still a chance for a two state solution? I think it's about time for the world to realize. Let me put it up for you. Let me put it up for you. Failed on the seventh of October, and we need to build a new one. And in but, order to build a new one... does that new one include the Palestinians living in a state of their own? Is, think, is that what it includes? I think the biggest question is, what type of Palestinians are on the other side? This is what Israel no, realized they have a state, of The answer is absolutely no, and I'll tell you why. Well, then... The, and do, they, do the Palestinians have a state? This is the Israeli ambassador to the United Kingdom in December, I believe, coming out and blatantly saying no. Absolutely not. But Israel no, realized they have a state. The answer is absolutely no, and I'll tell you why. Well, then because how can there the be moment, peace? No, how can there be answer, peace in the reason there is no peace. Israel. I mean, it doesn't get any more blatant than that, right? Does it get? This is literally a spokesperson for Israel coming out, an ambassador coming out as a spokesperson and saying the two-state solution is absolutely not viable, and we do not want the Palestinians to have their own state. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people like to bring up the from the river to the sea. Uh, I have a problem with that because both sides have used that in the past. If you look at the Likud party, that used to be in their writings. Uh, if you look up, you can look up a, a video of B.B. Netanyahu, I believe, uh, speaking at the U.N., holding up a map that showed Israel from the river to the sea with no Palestine. Not much different. And I believe me, I understand it's fucking ridiculous that Hamas has it in their charter. What they have in their charter, and I am totally 100% against that, especially as somebody that came into politics studying World War II uh, uh, and has, I would like to think, a little bit more understanding than the typical uh, average American of the plight of the Jewish people and what they went through during uh, the, the World War II previous and afterwards. Um, I, for the last 15 or 20 years, I've done nothing but dive as deep as I possibly can into that situation. Um, so, and it, it, again, this is not about the people of Palestine or the people of Israel. Is it about the governments of both sides? Okay. The people are caught in the middle and I feel for them. I really do. Both sides, the Israelis and the fucking Palestinians. But what's going on right now in Gaza is a fucking travesty. Um, when you have people being, being mowed down for trying to seek water and trying to go to fucking find food. Uh, when you have the the family of the hostages themselves coming out against Israel's actions and being like, hey, listen, how the fuck do you know what you're bombing? How do you know that you're not killing the hostages? I don't, how do you know, how do you, like, 
can you please be more careful? Um, I don't understand how you expect to distinguish between Hamas fighters, civilians, and our family members that have been brutally taken hostage. Um, I don't. So, and when you have 86% of Israelis against uh, uh, the actions of Bibi Netanyahu, uh, when you have the information that said that Israel had the battle plans from October 7th for a year, it, 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 it's, it, I know it's a lot to take in. It's a ridiculously complex situation, but I just want to be real about it. Um, I don't, I don't want you to be fed, you know, just one side of the story. And I've been, you know, kind of not wanting to talk about it because no matter what you say, it's going to piss somebody off. And I know I've probably pissed people off in the chat and I'm sorry, but that's just, just the way it is. I'm not, these are the words of extremely smart individuals that have done investigations that work for the UN that, that, you know, straight words straight from the uh, Israeli ambassador to the UK. Um, I don't have enough time, but you can pull up the video of Bibi Netanyahu talking about how he wants to uh, 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 fund Hamas in order to to separate Gaza from the West Bank. Um, so this is a long time in the making. This is not something that started overnight. It's not something that's going to end overnight. It's not black and white. It's not cut and dry. There's layers to it. It's very fucking complex. It's very nuanced. So, I mean... I don't. I don't mean to end on a bad note, but I, I. I think it's important that we start talking about this because you can even tell the way Joe Biden has been coming around lately. He he, he understands that something needs to be fucking done. Um, and when you have credible evidence of Israel literally stopping or making it more difficult for aid to reach the people uh, inside Gaza, why? Why? Why would they do that? Why? You know what I mean? It's like you got to you got to stop putting two into. I mean, it, even when this thing first started, when you go into a densely populated area, that densely populated with a mission, knowing that you're going to engage in combat, typically what you do is you've had you've held you'll you'll have some sort of humanitarian, uh, uh, uh you know, group attached to the first, uh, you know, the tip of the spear, so to speak. So that when you go in there and people are going to be displaced, people are going to be hurt, people are going to be left without food and water, you have people ready to take care of them and to hand out food, water, and to give them instructions, let them know where to go, let them know what's happening, people that aren't involved. Um, but you didn't have that. You literally had to have, and I commend them for it, IDF soldiers and commanders handing out food and water, whatever they had, because that they had no plan in place. They had absolutely no plan in place, and it seems like they're still trying to make the plans more difficult. Um, so again, I am not, I am not coming out against the, the people of Israel in any way. I absolutely feel for for what's going on. You're put in a in a, in a horrendously terrible situation, and and I I want you to know that I absolutely do have your back, and I hear what you're saying, and I hear that you don't like what your government is doing. The same thing with the Palestinian people. I am I am 100% for the Palestinian people. You know, having a life to live in a place that's secure without. Uh, uh, bombs raining down on them and I, I obviously think that Hamas needs to be dealt with but we have to be clear on how that has to be done where it's 2024 and you know you can't just go we all understand that you know you, you hear the talking point if if Israel really wanted to commit a genocide in Palestine if they really wanted to carpet bomb them they would have done it right well no we all know that in 2024, nobody would fucking stand for that. It would be a physical impossibility for the international community to to justify that and to let that slide. You just they know that. So what you have to do is it's basically bit by bit as slowly as you could possibly make it while still trying to control the you know public opinion, which is again as I called slowly shifting against what Israel is doing. And I might not even say slowly. I think it's rapidly. Uh, approaching the the crisis point where um, you know some decisions need to be made on what the fuck's going on over there. So well, let's end on a good note. Let's end on a good note. Let's see what Joe Biden's been been tweeting out. You know what I mean? Let's get a little Joe Biden in our lives. I'm over by five minutes, but that's all right. Otis, come on, Joe, give me something, buddy. Give me something, buddy. Today on Transgender Day of Visibility, which again, happy Transgender Day of Visibility. 
I have a simple message to all trans Americans. I see you, and I see you too. You are made in the image of God. You're worthy of respect, excuse me, and dignity. Okay? Jill and I send our warmest wishes to Christians around the world celebrating the power and hope and the promise of Christ's resurrection this Easter Sunday. As we gather with loved ones, we remember Jesus' sacrifice, we pray for one another, and cherish the blessing of the dawn of new possibilities. That seems to me a little bit more along the lines of what a president should sound like, what a leader should sound like on Easter. And listen, we all have our issues with politicians. We don't worship them. We don't agree with 100% of what they do. But we have to recognize the moment that we're in. We really do. It's, it's good or evil in this situation, okay? It's literally the opposite of... It's, it's, what the, it's what the Republicans say in reverse. They say we're not going to have a country anymore. It's projection because that's what's going to happen if they get back in power. If Donald Trump makes it back in power, that's what the fuck's going to happen, okay? We are, we are in serious, serious need of, of people getting out to vote, uh, people getting involved, getting your families involved, like I say, getting people at work involved. If you buy a T-shirt, you can wear that out. Maybe somebody will see it and say, hmm, somebody else in my area supports democracy. Somebody else in my area supports the LGBTQIA or, or transgender or you know people with mental health issues, which we have T-shirts down there that Mel was, you know, has unbelievable designs to, to, to show love and appreciation to people that, you know, have problems that can't be seen from the outside you may look okay you may seem okay but inside you have you know things going on in which are no different and just as hard to handle and if in some cases more hard to handle than uh, uh physical um, disabilities that can be seen where people can actually accommodate you so to anybody in the lgbtqia in the chat anybody that's uh trans in the chat god bless you hope you have a wonderful day we see you we love you um again i know some of that probably pissed some people off but it's just factual information from 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 smart people and i'm just trying to give it to you so that you guys can make an informed decision on what's going on um and again i i, I know it's it's kind of, it goes against some of the things that we've been been listening to but you know again we can't all agree uh on 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 everything and you know we're all, we're all going to have disagreements at some point, but we all have to stick together. Uh, even if you disagree with me on some things, don't, don't run away. Don't get mad. Don't, don't say I'm not going to watch him anymore. There's always going to be something that we don't agree on. Okay. There's shit in the chat that I don't agree with, but I'm not going to block you. I've instructed mods that blocking is literally the last option. If somebody is, you know, if it's, it's, it's really obvious that they're being threatened or doxxed or anything like that. I, I want everybody to feel safe in here i want everybody to have a good time and and have difficult conversations and disagreements that's what we're here for but i am never going to be more upset about an israeli death than i am about a palestinian death ever both of them piss me off just as much and neither one is justified uh neither one can be tolerated and uh you know we have some work to do we do which is why we have to keep coming back i appreciate you guys uh, I got to run. I got to go out and have some Easter dinner with the fam. Um, I hope you guys are doing the same. If you haven't already, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you to everybody that has, you know, sent a, let me go through it. Let's go through it. Thank you for starring these two. Um, emergency, remedial truth. Thank you so much. Mish, thank you so much. Louis, thank you so much. Uh, Christ, Isola, Kichi, thank you so much for the Euros uh lucky star robin thank you so much jeff left-handed jedi uh jd christie d bunker jacqueline carl uh annette mick Peter, as usual eight of wands lisa martin uh edward daphne peter again jd again eric mark thank you so much for your service by the way colleen peter again you're a fucking maniac i love you unfucking believable but you know, we'll get there, guys. We're going to get there. We stick together. We're going to be all right. You know what I mean? You guys are, are, are wonderful people that have a, a, a giant fucking heart. So thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Mods. Thank you, Mel. 
Uh, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys are checking out the Patreon. Make sure you, if you want to, you know, throw me a couple bucks for a coffee or a soda or something, you can hit the Venmo, whichever corner that is, because it's backwards. It's one of these ones. Uh, the T-shirts, memberships, uh, super chats, anything is is greatly appreciated because I'm trying to be here. I'm trying to make it so you get to see a lot more of me, and I can only do that with your assistance. So, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. We'll catch you next week, and I'll catch everybody in hell's chat. All right, love you guys. Thank you, Mel. Listen, I want you guys to tell somebody that you love them. Make sure your family knows. And make sure your family knows that I love them too. All right? Make sure. Tell them I said hi. I forgot to say that. understand it loves coming back to me it just doesn't want to leave it just doesn't want to fucking leave i don't want to leave you but i gotta get the fuck out of here.
You guys hearing that? I'm dying to know. I have to know. Please tell me somebody's hearing these drops. I don't know why I work so hard on them when I'm dying to get them out there. <laughs> I know I'm pressing them and I'm, I'm, I don't know who's hearing them because I'm hearing them. I want fucking people to hear them. <laughs> How do I sound? Do I sound like an old lady? I'm trying to sound like an old lady. Do I sound like an old lady? Because I'm trying, I don't know how to get out of here. How do I leave my life? It's just a thing.